Welcome back to some Akuma MC Skyblock on our, well, what used to be technically a one block island is now a very small farming island. Now, there was also a change, and I don't remember entirely what it, like, how, what, how, how it works, what it works, but what I do know is if you look in here, we've got XP bottles and money pouches just chilling in here. It's pretty nice. I'll take it. It's nice stuff, but that means I need to expand this just to make sure that it has extra space, and I do actually have to keep an eye on it, which is not bad. There we go. Now it's a double chest, so it'll never overflow, or should never overflow. Now, before we continue anything else, um, I do actually want to go ahead and chop up this wheat here. I didn't expand my farm, and I really should have. Now, in terms of quests, I think we're visiting, we're, gr we're doing grinding actions, we're selling 5,000 worth of stuff, and then we're visiting the mines, officially. So, number one, we need to do grinding actions, and unfortunately, I should have been, I should have started with Skyblock because I need to do, I don't have to do a lot of grinding actions, like a thousand, two thousand. Oh wait, you know what, I just remembered as well, I have these books I can open, so let's go and do that first. Now, some skills that I'm not showing off are essentially grinding and farming. Those are the only two, because those are things you don't, you can't really start off and, and make use of it, or you can't make full use of some of these as well, like I said, because of the tools. However, um, it'll just give you a good idea, uh, and you can still utilize it very early. Okay, well, I guess I need to kill some stuff for a while. Do I go to these worlds early? I might. You know what? Because I'm realizing this is going to take way too long with where I'm at right now. I'm going to just do this in my free time. I'm going to try to do this in my free time. And instead, I'm just going to do what I originally planned. I'm going to go to the three different areas, and I'm just going to show you guys how you can make money fast and early on the server. So, number one, in this area, we've got this fisherman as an, uh, or NPC, which works a lot like the guy in the woodcutting area, which I'll get to in a little bit. Wait, this is... This is fucking insane. We're gonna go ahead and fish. Um, I'm gonna activate... I mean, none of these pets are actually useful for those ones. I guess the bookfinder pet. For some reason in this world, you have to left-click your pet. I don't know why. It's such a weird, like... Such a weird mechanic. I don't understand it. So we actually got ourselves $213 for that. Oh, you know what I should do? I completely forgot. But you can I, that shows a little bit. Like, I caught two fish there. Let me at least show you a bit of the scale, actually, because I totally forgot to pull the timer up. We have exactly zero dollars. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start my 10-minute timer, and we're gonna get to mining. I mean, like, you can probably see why this is my least favorite skill, and, and personally the one I think is the most boring. Woodcutting's pretty good. Mining's definitely my favorite. 14.8 thousand for a lunar eel? That's insane. Another 4.8 thousand. I'm over three quarters of a hundred thousand. And we're only five minutes in, guys. Five minutes. Now, I'm not certain if that's, like, considered good money. Considering I probably couldn't make this much money in ten minutes on my island, though, that's really good. Oh, dude, turbo fishing is so good. I'm at a hundred thousand now. That enchant is, oh, is, is is literally insane. Another fishing book, guys. Poggers. And I'm at 117,000. We've got about three minutes left. Oh, we got another turbo fishing. Oh, it ended. 145,000. Fishing level five. Let's go. I, I know, I think that gives me a head start on some of the quests, which is great, at least. Um, Obviously, I have to do the, the, the grinding actions, which I'm just going to do that in my free time if I can remember. But I might not. I'm probably gonna forget. I also gotta see what this guy makes me. I haven't even checked. I checked, like, the first few casts before I started the timer. Fishing armor fragment. I forgot that was a thing. Use a fishing armor fragment to craft armor in slash armor or drag and drop onto an armor piece to upgrade it. Oh. In 10 minutes, this guy's made us a whopping... 150,000 dollars. Oh my god, that is insane. I ha- I mean... I also did get this to level 2. I almost got it to level 3. And apparently I got this up to level 3, because I guess it realized the enchantments I have. That is awesome! It's wood cutting time, which means that it's time to do slash logging, warp to this world. I'm gonna go in-depth on these worlds later on, by the way. I guess I technically went over the other one. Um, this has changed a bit. It's a new scenery. There are some quests, and over here we've got the Lumberjack, which does the same thing. Uh, or sorry, no, he, he's the cell guy, right? No, there's another guy. This guy, Bob the Helper. The only thing is, you gotta spend gems for him to give you money. The woodcutting's actually pretty simple. You just go up, you chop the tree, and that, that's it. You get wood. I'm excited to see how this stands up. I don't know, like, I genuinely don't know which one's gonna be the best. I wanna say, 
at least early on, I gotta lean towards fishing, actually. I'll see for sure in a little bit once we get through these, but the reason being is, like, this is gonna get better as you progress, but you're gonna be stuck on birch for a while. Oh, no, it's, it's 25. My mistake. I guess not. Now, one thing that makes this better and I would recommend is efficiency. It's probably the best enchant to get starting off with this, at least in my opinion, because all it does is basically just increase the base damage you do to the trees. Right now I'm doing like 13, uh, 27 crit. Um, I can do a lot more with efficiency. And again, reminder, this is all stuff you can do day one on the server. Obviously, we're on week two now, um, but you can do this day one. And for the most part, I feel like this is pretty consistent across each season. Obviously, I would, like, keep an eye on it and see uh, if they ever, like, nerf it or make any changes to these skills. Um, you can check that on the Discord or on their site. All the information down in the, uh, in the description. Come join the server, guys. Awesome server. Now, the thing I will say is I think this is very good for gems, if I'm not mistaken. This and maybe mining, I think, are great for gems. Oh, I'm now level 10. Wait, that means I can go to the new area, right? Literally, it took me... Uh, eight minutes to do this. You could also do this in eight minutes and be here, which means you could also be here chopping up these trees, which will make you more money. So I'm going to try and chop up a decent amount of these and see how much it'll make me. These will obviously make me more. Oh, you know what? Actually, I didn't even think about this. Wait a minute. Daily booster. Oh, sh shit. I just realized something. Okay, hold on. I might have to split that amount in half. So that is another thing to keep in mind, I guess, is the daily booster and what skill. Nine seconds, guys, nine seconds. This will be, uh, actually not our last tree. The way I do it is if I'm in the middle of cutting a tree before the timer stops, then I count it. So this is our wood cutting amount. This is our fishing, minus about half. Uh, and then this is just our base amount. That is significantly different. Now, obviously that gets better. You can see 15, that's like $5 extra, $5 extra. It, it just keeps going up by, ooh, this one, no, that one goes up by 15. That one goes by a huge amount. And then jack-o'-lanterns. And those are going to chop so fast. Oh, I guess it's custom. The final skill, mining, which is my personal favorite. Once it gets a little faster. Oh, sorry, I forgot to do these logging books. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to I'm just gonna start mining. Uh, we'll use this pet again and we'll get to mining. Um, I mine pretty fast, but it's not as fast as I would like it to be yet. Starting my timer that I forgot to start. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hey, guys, we're already on the gold area. Or sorry, not the gold area, the iron. I forgot there's a lot more mining stuff. Gold is level... maybe 15? Oh, you can also see, this is getting me a lot of experience. Look at that go up. Wait, that's actually insane. So this is great for experience? I guess I did put an enchant on it, didn't I? If it's second place, I'm gonna work on mining a lot as best as I can. Get it as high level as I can and just see if it gets any better than fishing. Oh, time is in fact up. Which means, let me go ahead and do a quick sell-all. That is 22,000 total of 43 thousand dollars which i actually i think that's close to logging oops that's pv12 the only thing i will say is we got to this early which means that if we get to in logging if we got if we got to um birch in the same amount of time it would have made more money i think but fishing is the clear winner even if you take away half that amount it just smashes the other two in terms of money that is insane Let's go to open up our three normal pet eggs and our two holy pet eggs and see what we get. And, of course, I'm probably going to end up salvaging them. Uh, not that guy. He is a fucking masterful. Six epic airdrops. What do we get? We got ourselves a bunch of junk. Let me do a little salvage, y'all. It's going to get rid of all the things I don't need. Let's use these pet eggs. Let's redeem our keys as quickly as possible. And now, our first V-Kit cluster. So we got keys. Sell one, sell one unlimited, two sell one unlimited, uh, intermittent creeper spawners, and two holy pet eggs. Not bad, not bad, I'll take it. Our last vegan cluster, what do we get? I also have two million dollars. Spawners, spawners, money, and epic airdrops. Pretty damn good. But that is it. Join the server, all the information is down in the description. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you never miss a video on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.